And now for the latest on the ground. We start in Storot in the south. Let's go to our senior correspondent, Owen Alterman. And Owen, what a sight behind you. We can see young children playing. That is the start of the semblance of getting back to some kind of normalcy there. What is happening in Storot? What can you tell us? You got it right, Benita. A true sign of life and a sign of rejuvenation and a sign of Israel South coming back to life. Take a look at what you see all around me. This is an indoor playground here in the city of Sterot. It opened at 12 o'clock local time today. That's just four hours ago. And opening to a community where, Benita, this, almost this entire city had been evacuated after October 7th. Only about 35% of the residents, from what we understand, have come back. But you can see just how crowded this playground is. Bill 15 years ago by the Jewish National Fund USA. But I remember touring this exact same place five years ago, ten years ago, and it was seen as a, as a sad place, as a sad sign, a place where the building had to be built with fortified rooms near to it, but today it's a sign of life. And we have with us two American volunteers, part of a group of 100 who have come here to get this place ready to be set up. Carl Kaplan, Logan Lefkoff, thank you guys so much for being with us. First, I'll start with you, Carl. What brought you here? What has brought you back? I understand it's your second time here in Israel as an American volunteer coming here. And tell us a little bit about what you've done since you've been here in Syria. Sure, thank you. We've been here for four days, but we've specifically been here for two days with Jewish National Fund USA getting the playground ready to reopen. I was here in 2009 when it opened for the first time, and I was honored to come back and help. And Logan, what does it mean to you seeing this place open? After all of your work, I understand you painted here inside yesterday. Now the painting is done. The kids are here all around us playing. What does it mean to you to see this here in Sarot after all that this country and after all that the Jewish world has been through over the past four months? It is such a source of pride for us, for all of the 200 volunteers who have been here to see the joy, the perseverance, the resilience. This is our time to show the world we're here, we're strong, and there are lots of people who support all of you in Israel. We are two of many, many people who want to be here to support you. And, and, and what have you been telling people back home about what you've seen here, whether Jews, non-Jews, about your experiences here in Israel for so many people who aren't able to come here during, of course, such a fraud time? Well, certainly with everything going on since October 7, people are a little bit nervous, but I tell everybody, it's open for business. Please come. I feel such amazing pride whenever I'm here. Everyone is so open, so helpful. I just will be coming back every two months. And, and Logan, how is it different coming back here your second time than it was your first time in early December, if I remember correctly? How is this, the feel here in Israel different? Of course, we live here, so we experience it minute by minute, day to day. You have that perspective of coming here and then coming back. I think you see the resilience and the work that we're doing as JNF USA volunteers is changing. We are rebuilding now. We are bringing people back into their communities. And I will tell you, as valuable as it is for all of you here, it is so important for all of us in the diaspora. It feels very lonely and there is nothing better than being here and seeing pride and seeing our community and our family. Logan, Carl, thank you both so much. And Benita, back to you again. Who would have imagined just a few months ago we would be here today with such a happy scene, a scene, as Logan said, of resilience here in Starot, seeing this place filled with the cries and the joy and the laughter of children here playing on a Wednesday afternoon. Certainly good to be smiling at the end of a report like that. Senior correspondent Owen Altman live from Starot. Thank you very much for that update. More to come from Owen, of course, in the coming hours.